before I talked about my paper I wrote on um, industrial control system security on YouTube, I thought about it because my boss um, hasn't invited me to speak at a conference about my paper and my other uh, teacher has invited me to speak at a conference about the paper and I gave it to him. I thought they were going to submit it to conferences. I thought I was going to get invited. And so I was like, do I need to keep this secret? And then I realized, which by the way, this is the wireless RTU and like I would put a central database server here and that would also contain the blockchain. It would also be responsible for sending forward the, 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 the current state of the blockchain. Um, but, uh, so the point I'm trying to make is, I thought about it and I was like, well, do you want to go tell the world like this concept for securing your network? What if someone's like, what if like, Americans use it for like specifically like you can say, well, why would you ever want to be that crazy about guaranteeing that the sensor measurements are correct? And the answer is that um, like think about what happens if like you're wrong. Like if you're getting wrong information and then next thing you know, like you don't know the, the, that the pipeline is about to blow up. Um, cause someone's like faking like their, uh, both sides, you know, and they're like right in the middle and you're, you have no idea that someone's in there and you don't even know what's going on in your pipeline. Um, but like, so, but they would use wireless and the cool thing about this design specifically, um, is that, um, you don't know where this is going out of. Whereas you know these are, and you can jam them. This one, you don't know where it's going out of. But, um, but I mean, if you jammed them, they wouldn't know, probably. Like, there's a, it's very likely you're, you're going to have a lot of trouble faking, like, event, the RTU after you jam it. Um, so the point is, does this, like, is it a bad thing to talk about this from security perspectives? Well, think about, like, the implications of securing a national ga natural gas pipeline um, and making it more safe. Well, um, that means that, you're not going to waste a bunch of natural gas because what happens if like right now in Mexico, all these people are like going and messing with these oil pipelines, which the same concept would apply to oil pipelines. Um, cause I'm pretty sure they have to have compressor stations I mean, they have to have pumping stations or something. Um, so, um, so like think about what's happening there. Well, um, there are people that are busting this pipeline and then all this oil spills and it's wasted. So like, this is a way of like protecting everyone's natural resources from like a device to device perspective on in like cars cars communicating each other with each other um what my friend is who came up with the, the, this concept that i'm about to say like there's this notion of like um trust trusted trusting one another like how do you trust each other's information and blockchain is a way of to like establish trust between cars when they're doing information sharing uh, if you're doing device device network uh, obviously that's not like the way to sense things but it's a way for the cars to communicate with each other as I look at this and I see like that I made a mistake even after like I fixed it so many times and I I I, I make a lot of mistakes and like I think it's because of the way that I speak I I like I, I look at my code and I only see like half of the code and I, I I'm like well, I don't know how this is working but it's like right in front of my face um, and like I, I fix this 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 diagram so many times and it still has an error in it I think um, but also that's because I'm not an expert. One other thing I was gonna say is, you know, I, the other day I was like, well, I, I didn't, no one taught me how to make do labels, uh, and you know who uh, really was kind of taught me that? My boss, who was like, well, just do a bag of words, which like, um, so she's the one that taught me about labels. But also, I t I've done like three online machine learning courses, and they all use labels. So like, when I say I taught myself, I taught myself with. University of Michigan and Princeton and MIT and like I, I taught myself with brilliant professors that I copied um, so I think that's kind of the nature of the universe and I don't like I, I think the nature of the universe without us is that none of this like stuff that we really enjoy on earth like we would be able to enjoy without us like algebra like I don't think you guys get algebra like, and algebra is not even calculus. Um, and it's definitely not um, binary, like rendering on a screen to make a movie that is transported uh, over long distances. The point I'm trying to make is the Illuminati does good stuff and you know we do bad stuff. And a lot of the time, or almost always, I don't know about the really bad stuff or 
If I do, then I find out about it and I'm like, well, what can you do? I didn't do it. You know, no one blames God when they don't, when God doesn't interfere. Like, there's a whole world full of Christians and like, I'm pretty sure, like, at least in the past, or have, have people been Christians in America and, um, so, but no one has ever, no one ever goes, well, why did God let 9-11 happen? Oh, God stuck, sky's evil. But then like we let something happen and it's like, well, you're evil. But, the, it, but it's because we stop a lot of stuff. Um, but it's, why do, why, why does God not have the obligation to interfere in every freaking thing? But then the moment we don't interfere, we're evil. Uh, when really it's just people are freaking the way that they are, and a lot of time that is kind of evil. Uh, it's kind of power hungry. It's, but more than anything, even good people have a strong survival instinct, and that survival instinct tells you different things. And sometimes that survival instinct makes you stupid, and sometimes that survival instinct makes you get along. Um, and sometimes that, I mean, sometimes it's stupid to get along, but sometimes, it's, but it really depends. Um, but it. And it's not fun not trusting anyone. It's really not. Um, it's not fun finding out that my eyes are... <laughs> it's like, have I been a, the laughing stock of the world for years? Because I think that people did know about me back with Taylor because they probably thought it was funny. And then they started going, holy crap, when they heard her album. And they were like, dude, this guy's for real. And then that's how, now I'm... Maybe it's, or maybe, and I'm guessing some people did actually like my music back in the day. Because you can understand what I say. I don't know. That's it.